Hello and welcome back to Pine City Apri. Today we want to put in the paper towel beetle traps on all the hives. It's not going to be very invasive. It'll be uh, less so invasive for the top bar hives. But I uh, was thinking about not using smoke, but I think I'm going to go ahead and have the smoker ready just in case. We'll see how it is. Let's do this. Right, Junior? Right, Junior? Okay, we'll start off with high face. Take off the sandbar. That's the following board, and we have a strip of this is called a Dynamax paper towel that we cut into strips, and we're going to drape it down and put it in. Now What's going to happen is the bees are going to see this here and they're going to know that it's not part of the hive and they're going to start chewing it up and they're going to rough it up. And by roughing it up, they will uh, create almost like a Velcro type consistency to it. And small hive beetles, and like I said last year, I caught a wax moth on it too. Uh, their legs get caught up in that and they get stuck and that's the end for them. So we did one on the one side. We want to do the same thing on the other side. Again, we're just going to drape it over. That's it. We'll close them up and we'll move on to the next one. This is laying right. We got a lot of bees up here. And some weight. What I'm going to do here is I'm just going to set this up on its end. And while I'm doing that, I can check to see if there's any swarm cells. 
there's not. And then we just take and uh, drape the Dynamax towel on the one end. and put the Dynamax towel again on the end. Okay, I'm curious. That's completely filled up with nectar. They're building out that side. Now this end piece here was just foundation. So I don't expect it to be too much. Nothing on that side. And on this side, they're working on drawing out some comb. Just a little bit there. I'm going to look at one more. This is all, this is all nectar. Checking to make sure I don't see any eggs in here. Nope, just nectar. All right, let's put them back together and leave them be. So that was laying right. I just gave them that honey super and they've got it they've got it filled up pretty good with nectar. So I might be working on the street on the way. So I just put this honey super on maybe not even a week ago, maybe a week ago, and they've got it pretty much full up. Um, it's not capped yet. And uh, I'm thinking I might want to put another honey super on probably on my next visit here. This I'm not going to consider this a, a real visit. I didn't, I'm not really doing an inspection. I'm just adding these... Um, these uh, small high beetle traps. All right, let's move on to laying left. All right, so this is laying left. 
they just got their double deep not too long ago they're still being fed and I am going to refill them they've got it mostly empty so I'll go ahead and give them some more right now This might be the last that they get, we'll see. Right. So we just gave them the double deep. They are on about six and a half of the frames. And they're kind of doing the same thing on this top one that they did on the bottom one. Is they're very right hand side oriented. So I'm gonna move them over. Okay, and here I'm going to look underneath for swarm cells, and we're not seeing any. So they're going to get one strip. Oops, I dropped one. And the second strip. All right, that's it for uh, laying left. We just put in that double deep recently, and they're on six of the bar or six of the frames now. So hopefully they're going to keep kicking it in gear, and we'll get them a honey super uh, within the next week or two. Um, that'd be really great if they could get that. We put on the uh, two. Um, small hive beetle strips and uh, let's go on to the last hive, hive stripe. All right we'll start off by giving them some smoke. Looks like they're flying pretty good. I might even 
I might even open up a second hole for them today. Let's see how they are. Put the brake on. Remind me to take that off before I leave. Alright, so this one's going to be super easy to do because they're so small. Last time we were in here, we cut them way back, and I think that was a good thing because they were pretty strong on this last bar at the moment. We'll see how they are on this side. Now, this was the side that uh, we took away the drone comb and they are busy working this they got it full of nectar all right and we'll do the same thing we'll just drape this over and hang it down All right, that's it. We'll close them up. All right, so today all we did was put small hive beetle traps in uh, each of the hives using the uh, Dynamax paper towel that we cut into strips. And like I said earlier, what happens is the bees will actually chew that up and rough it up. It'll make it kind of like a Velcro, you know how they got the hook in the loop it's the fuzzy side of the Velcro, it'll be that consistency. And any of the critters, the small high beetles, especially because they got barbs on their legs, will get stuck in that. And like I said now a couple times, last year I actually caught a wax moth in the small high beetle paper trap. So that's a good thing. Um, I do have some oil traps that I could use for the Langstroth hives. And I may do that too, we'll see. Um, We'll see how this paper trap goes first, and also see if I see any evidence of small hive beetles. I don't want to put that in there if I don't need to. It's just something else you have to do. All right, pretty non-evasive today. Um, Ling Wright is going to town with uh, their honey soup I gave them, and they probably will need another one pretty soon. So that's a good thing. That is a good thing. Um, hey, Junior, get away from that. All right. Well, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up are super cool. You too can be super cool if you give me one. Do you know what else is super cool? That's right, subscriptions. Have you subscribed to this channel yet? If you have, thank you very much. I really do appreciate your support. If you haven't, where have you been? I've been making YouTube videos now since 2016, and I would love it. Sun pump is pumping. I've been making YouTube videos now since 2016, and I would love it if you'd join this adventure with me. It doesn't cost you anything, but it means a lot to me. So, again, as always, thank you very much. Have a great day.